Hello, I'm Mike Driscoll, and today I'm going to teach you about the REPL. So, what is a REPL anyway? REPL, or Read, Eval, Print, and Loop, is the, what you use to interact with Python interactively. You can do this by opening up a terminal on Mac or Linux, or the command exe on Windows. I believe it also works um, with PowerShell and Windows too. So let's pop on over to our um, REPL and find out how it works. So the way you get into it is you just type Python uh, followed by the version you want to use. So I'll just use Python 3. And you can see you're in the REPL because now we have these three little um, greater than symbols here. That is a prompt that tells you that you're in the REPL. It also tells you which version of Python you're using. So here I'm using 3.10.2. Um, now I can import stuff in my REPL and just make it work the way I want it to work. So let's import sys, which is the system module, and then we can start using uh, functions in the Python program. So if I do a dir on that, I can learn about the sys module. I can use help to help me learn about it some more. So let's uh, just pick something on here and do help. And in the REPL, it just lets you kind of interact with stuff and learn how to use the code. So, you know, I can do 1 plus 2. Um, you don't have to hit print and have it print out the values because as soon as you hit enter, it'll usually print out what you want to know. So let's say if you want to say a equals 4, if I just hit a and hit enter, it's going to tell me that the value is 4. If you were running an actual Python program, then you'd want to do print a to get the output printed to standard out in your console. In this case, because I'm in the REPL, it'll just print it out automatically for me. So the print and the A are pretty much equivalent in this case. Uh, Python actually comes with a more powerful REPL uh, that you can use called idle. So let's go ahead and open that up. Um, here's the idle shell. You can see it also has the three greater than symbols telling you that it's a prompt. The reason that I like the idle shell uh, is that uh, it uses syntax highlighting. So now you can see that import is now orange. And so you can import sys, and everything works the, pretty much the same. It just uses syntax highlighting, and it can do autocomplete. So now that we have sys, I can hit dot and start typing, and it'll pop up this little dialog and show you all the stuff that you can uh, autocomplete on. That makes it really handy as a REPL because you can you can kind of have that almost an IDE type feel but in a shell environment or a REPL environment. So anyway, there's a system.path and you'll see it still continues to have these nice colors. You can actually get special REPLs for Python. So if we close out of this one and clear it out, you could get like the IPython uh, REPL. And IPython is kind of like interactive Python, I think, is what the I stands for. I might be wrong on that. But anyway, uh, yeah, interactive Python. It also has um, color coding. But instead of the three greater than signs, it says in and, and out. So in this case, you do import, and you can see that it uh, changed the color to green instead of leaving it black and white. But um, it, does other, it does other things. So if we do like print and... Um, hello from Py hello from Python. You can see that it is doing a completely different uh, color system than what you saw with Idle. Idle does a very different one. Of course, each of these different things have different ways to to set up uh, the colors too. And I believe um, with uh, Idle or not Idle with uh, IPython, it also has autocomplete. So if I start typing int and I hit tab. It'll just pop up and tell me what different uh, items I can I can autocomplete on. So there you go. Those are different types of, of REPLs that you can use to interact with Python, and this is a really handy way to like test small snippets of code. Um, you can also use this as a debugging uh, tool. If you use Python's debugger, it basically creates a REPL type environment. So when you raise an raise an error and you drop into PDB, for example which is the Python debugger, you can do something similar to what I'm doing here in the REPL and just kind of access different things in the REPL to kind of help you debug your code. Anyway, I hope you found this helpful, 
And uh, if you have any questions, you know, you can let me know. Thank you so much.